Okay guys, so this is uh, train body part two, and I'm going to show you how to do all of the holes on the train body. The first uh, holes we're going to do are the ones on the side here that, uh, connect, that the wheels connect to. They have little screws that go inside of them. So I'm going to click on hole, and I know that this is a tapped hole because in the working drawing I gave you, it has letters next to it. And remember, whenever you see letters, it's a tapped hole. So the diameter of this hole is a quarter of an inch, which is 0.25, and that should make the designation match what is on the drawing, which is quarter inch, 20 UNC. 20 is the pitch, UNC is the series. The threads are full depth, and we want the drill point on this as an angle, because it says on the drawing, note, all holes are drilled with point angles. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here, and this has a termination. It is .875 deep. If you don't have a measurement here, make sure you look under termination and turn off through all and turn it into distance. So I click my face, then I click my reference line, reference one, and that's one inch. And then this guy down here is 0.5. And we're going to apply. And we're going to do the guy up front. I'm not changing anything because they're all the same. And the reason I know that is on my working drawing. It says times 4. So that's 1. And this guy down here is 0.5 as well. Apply. Turn the train around. Do the other side. And apply. So now you should have holes on your train. And when you look at them, because they have the uh, pointed drill, you should be able to see that little um, point inside. Okay. So now the next holes we're going to do are the ones on the front. That's where the cow catcher attaches. Those are regular old drilled holes, so we're going to click this guy. The depth on those holes is 0.125, which is three, uh, which is one eighth, and the diameter is one eighth as well. These are itty bitty holes. I'm going to click here. I'm going to give it a reference of one inch because the top one is dead center, and from the bottom that one is 0.625, which is five eighths. I'm going to apply. I'm going to do the next guy. He is 0.375 over, which is 3 eighths, and an eighth of an inch up, which is 0.125. I'm going to get this guy, same thing, 0.375 from this side, 0.125 from the bottom. Apply, look at the front of your train, should make a nice neat little triangle there for you. So there's one more hole on the train that we need to do, and that's the guy on the back. And this is where the magnet attaches, so you can add a car to your train. So the diameter here is 0.25, and the depth is 0.5. Reference point goes here. Click reference one if it's not already highlighted. One inch, because it's one inch from the side and 0.375, apply. Alright, so now there's only one other hole on here, but it is on this cylinder. And we can't put a sketch on the cylinder. See if I try it won't let me. Because you can only sketch on flat surfaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a work plane. And what a work plane is, is it's like a transparency. It allows us to sketch on a place that we normally wouldn't. So I'm going to click on plane, and the plane I want is tangent to surface and parallel to plane, because I want it tangent to this cylinder, and I want it parallel to this spot right here. So now I have this yellow thing sitting on top of my train. And if I look at it, it's tangent right there. And now I can sketch on it. 
When you use a sketch on a plane, you have to be really careful. You have to catch the edge of the plane and make sure the plane highlights or the sketch is going to go somewhere you don't want it to go. Now I'm looking at my train. I'm, I'm drawing on my transparency or my work plane. And what I need now is I need to be able to measure what's underneath it. So I'm going to use this thing here called project geometry. I'm going to click the outside lines of the train so I have a reference point to measure from. They turn up green um, on mine so it may be kind of hard to see but they're there. Now you guys know I told you you can't draw a circle and extrude it because it's not a hole. So the way we do that on a work plane because you can't use the 3D features on a work plane the way we want to use them so we're going to use point. I'm going to draw a point here and I'm going to dimension to that point. So this way it is 1, and from here back it is 0.875, which is 7 eighths. Okay, and I'm going to finish the sketch. And now I have this point sitting on my work plane. So I'm going to go to hole. And if you notice here, placement has changed to from sketch, which is what we want. For this one, you want the drill point to be flat. And the diameter is 0.5, and the depth is 0.25. This is where the little smokestack goes. Tell it OK, and there's your hole. Now, you guys have this work plane sitting on your drawing, and it's probably driving you nuts. You cannot delete it. Once again, guys, you cannot delete your work planes, or you delete everything that you've done on them. What you can do is you can turn them off. So come over here, right-click on work plane, turn off visibility. 